Oh, there's some interesting balance changes. <sighs> I could do Ascension 2 with the Defect, but I've been doing a lot of the Defect anyway. So let's go on to the Silent, my personal favorite. The Abomination named you is surviving. I think I haven't. I think I was planning on sending him on another mission soon. Reach the boss to receive your blessing. Okay, no matter what, I have to fight an elite. So I'm going to take the path with the most amount of question marks to get the most amount of questionable power. Hello, Zalrog. Welcome back. We're here for slaying some spires. Get the damage properly sorted out. Because right now I'm going to focus on trying to play each round perfectly. Trying my best not to mess up with any cards trying to choose what would be the optimal decision, because that's what's been screwing me up on these Ascension runs. As I just haven't been able to get any progress past the third Ascension. So things to worry about are cards that are actually really good to begin with, such as Escape Plan on everything except the Time Eater. Bane is great, but I don't have anything poison related. Dagger Throw is actually fairly good as well. It's better for discard synergy. I'll take the discard synergy to begin with, as opposed to starting off with cards that would just give me block. You gain six, puts you down to eight. I can kill you from there. And I would be able to defend, so this is still technically the best option. Off you, Survivor, Gain take no damage. Fair enough, the build gonna be for today is whatever build ultimately works. Ascension, you have to play aggressively, and I can't really say what I'm going to get until I get the card options laid out before me. I've kind of been disrespecting Dagger Throw up until this point. Flechettes ain't worth it. Outmaneuvers also equally not worth it. Acrobatics usually is, if I need to find a particular card. I will remove a card from my deck. We already have an attack card, so I'm going to remove a strike. It's not another combat, which is good. Relic. Relic. Tinkshuz. Alright, we're going discard. I'm glad this is Tinkshas. So every time we discard a card with Tinkshas, we deal three damage to a random enemy. So all our discard cards become infinitely better. So whenever there's a reason to discard a card, we're going to discard it. Because the Tinkshas doesn't count as an attack buff. Or since Tinkshas itself does not count as an attack, that's just phenomenal. The only thing we're missing, I will just defend myself. The only thing we're really missing is something to go infinite, because going infinite with Tinkshas is now what we're going to be going for. So deleting cards from our deck and looking for ways to gain energy via discard. Skewer is also good early game. Tinkshas does not go through block, but if we go infinite, block doesn't matter. Skewer is amazing early on, but if I take it, I'm going to have to remove it later. I'll take it for now, just to deal with bosses. We'll start off with a skewer. Um, I think I just keep attacking. Because I'm going to take a ton of hits anyway from the Log of Olin. And I don't really have a way to avoid it. Why do you... Okay, that's weird. Diacrobatics is not that great here. Technically discards a card, but I'd rather deal more damage than that. And we'll start trying to take a little bit less... Because next turn should be the one where I should focus on completely attacking all out because it's this turn where you do the negative. 
give me more. Had a skewer, and I wasted it, because I didn't try to draw more to begin with. Oh well. Oh baby. Take 20. I need three strikes. Three strikes or a skewer? Or this also works. As painful, we get calipers, which isn't great. We're always discarding cards. On average, we discarded about one card per turn, so Sneaky Strike is a good pick. We'll go down the leftmost path, because I need to do some card removal. Upgrading cards. There's nothing here I really would upgrade except for Neutralize, so I will remove a card from my deck. We're going to remove a Stock Standard Strike. Do you have anything here that is helpful? Hand drill. Whenever you break an enemy's block, apply two vulnerable happy flower or dream catcher. Mm. None of this is particularly good. Not in the slightest, so we'll do card removal. Card removal, we're going to remove a defend. 94. Is there any card I'd be willing to take? Is there a potion I'd be willing to take? Yes, I'd take a swift potion, just so I could survive. Threaded needle, so I've plated armor, so I'm not dying too horrifically. Random event. Okay. So I'll lose the gold, because this would kill me. Hmm. Technically, I have fire, fight, fire, fight, fire. So I can, if I take that, I could upgrade somewhere. We are resting. Also, it amazes me that I didn't say that above when I'm Canadian. Understandable. But, I mean, we are your biggest neighbor. Only neighbor, I think, actually. This is some really weird country off to the uh, east, or like in the island chain that technically is kind of connected to Canada that I just have no idea about. I'm going to go to the left path because I want to try to get the fires, because I want to try to upgrade something before the boss fight. question is, what would I upgrade? I don't know. You're both attacking. We do have a survivor. Let's see where our stuff lies. It lies in you. Oh. You make me angry. Uh, in that case, defend and neutralize on you to make it so I take nothing. Right, I didn't need to do that because I've played armor. This is what I say when I say I need to learn to play perfectly. Silent most definitely is. Don't want to skewer one of you. I could skewer you, kill you, it'd apply vulnerable to me. Or it would apply vulnerable. I want to kill them at about the same time. Even if I go for a five card deck, it doesn't do anything for me because just having a five card deck by itself isn't good enough. I'll let Fungal Beast, because no matter who I hit, I'm probably going to kill one of you. Alright, we're just going to hope for discard later. If I draw two strikes, this match is over. I draw a strike and a skewer. Perfect. None of this is good. Well, Piercing Whale gets itself out of the deck, and it lets me survive for a turn. If I were to upgrade a card, what would I upgrade? Sneaky Strike just increases damage. Acrobats increases the amount of cards I draw. Skewer increases the amount of damage it does. Hmm. Neutralize helps me not die horrifically, but I'm going to go with Skewer Plus for right now, just to carry me through the intro. Case in point, people like this. 
gets you down to eight, so I'll only take three. And this is worth it just to try to kill you off quickly. Um, I can't off you right now. But I can drop your strength. Hit you with this, and then just discard something to take nothing. What I'm hoping for is a zero drop cycle hand. I can't remember what it's called at this moment. Because of course I can't. Calculated gamble. Ghost in a jar might save me. Wraith form will not save me. Prepared, however, is fantastic. I would upgrade, but I need to rest. This boss can hurt. And it can hurt significantly. Weaken you, skewer you, because that'll just put you to your second phase instantly. And we can save the intangibleness to survive something that I really can't survive under normal circumstances. Uh, survivor. Acrobatics, we'll discard, sneaky strike, defend, but then use prepared for the sake of just drawing through our deck and dealing more damage. Right, I didn't even need to do that. I could have probably actually swung out at him and been fine. Hmm. Right, I can get away with doing this. I should be fine. I can intangible. There's gonna be a bigger hit later. But I'm probably gonna try to defend the bigger hit anyway. Because there's gonna be the five hits for four. Hmm. Blocks two of them. What do I draw? Oh, there's neutralize. That's actually kind of what I was looking for. So that only deals 12. And I put you very precariously close to your demise. Although dagger throw does more. It deals 12. So maybe we'll see what we get off of dagger throw. Nothing else. I was kind of looking for Sneaky Strike, but then I can see that that's just not happening. You know, we'll hold off. And here we take nothing. Right in here. That is true in some cases. Here we can skewer. And it actually does more, because it damages him a little bit extra, beyond what we already had. I think he got calipers working for us. <sighs> and prepared, because I want to do the defend. Toss of a defend. We'll neutralize you. Okay, no matter what, I'm going to get hit. Never mind, I don't get hit. Well, I take damage, but it doesn't get rid of my plated armor. I do agree Defect is a lot more fun to play, but I've been wanting to get through these particular bits of the Spire for quite some time. Okay, no matter what I'm going to do here, I can't actually avoid taking hits here. So in that case, we'll just take all the damage in the freaking world. Yeah, it would have been 17, I would have still taken... Uh, no, I wouldn't have taken any damage. My mistake. Piercing Whale avoids taking any harm. We neutralize on you, prepared. Discard Survivor, and hit you with two strikes. It does, if you generate more than 15 block a turn. And don't lose all of it to whatever attack the boss decides to perform. Alright, we put you into second phase one more time. 
Yeah, Calipers is a very bad relic unless you are able to generate metric tons of block. All right, we're looking for discard synergy. <sighs> well, Storm of Steel is one of the discard synergy cards I was looking for. So we'll do Storm of Steel. You no longer discard your hand. That's technically a good thing in my instance. Lizard's Tail is the safest, yet at the same time, it's not that great. Tiny House upgrades a card, but I'm going to take a Runic Pyramid here. Oh yeah, that's why I say Calipers just isn't worth it. Now that I have something that trades away Calipers, I'll gladly do so. What do I have here? An early shop is actually tempting. Do I have a shop later that might be more valuable? On let's take the left path? No. Well, no, I can't actually get away with doing two fights, getting to a shop afterwards. I'd be... I'd get two shop options to see what's available. So you know what, let's go for the double random event and see what we can pull off here. I mean, as I said before, Dagger Throw is always technically better. And then we skewer, because that actually deals some health damage. Which is kind of what we're looking for. Versus 15 health. We neutralize, even though that doesn't do much. Um, we can block the attack by playing Survivor. And we'll do so because this helps us get through his defenses. And might set us up for a kill next turn. Because here we're going to get Storm of Steel, which is going to draw us a bunch of cards. Well, we're going to draw a bunch of cards first. Acrobatics. Discard. Defend. Play Storm of Steel. Discard our whole hand. And it's dead before we even get our chance to start doing attacks. Uh, you forget the Ironclad could also do uh, some defensive builds. Admittedly, the Ironclad also has a power card, which is better for it, but the Ironclad is capable of it. That I will not lie about. Apparition is not worth it. I've learned this the hard way. Apparition just ain't worth it. I'll offer gold for a relic. Bronze scales? It's... I, I feel ambivalent about it. You come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding, and this is what you offer. You're gonna hit me for 12, which will actually hit me for 7. But you know what? This is worth it. Because I want to get through that plated armor as fast as possible. And you heal a little bit of health off of it. Uh, I get Piercing Whale, but you know what, we're just going to go with some discard stuff first. We'll probably end up using Piercing Whale, because I'm just going to try and survive. Ooh, we can actually get away with a Spooky Strike. Can we kill you? No. Piercing Whale, which drops your strength even further, and toss up a defense. slowly getting through their health. Skewer will kill them. Alright. Sneaky Strike is okay to add, as we're always, di we're always discarding something. What the? I don't remember this fight. Well, anyways, might as well get started. I want to get rid of you, because you're going to be particularly annoying. So, prepared. Double sneaky strike. That offs you, and we start dealing with your health. Or your massive health total. There's a skewer and a storm of steel. 
We take another hit, but in all honesty, that's probably worthwhile given what we're having to deal with here. The damage would be about the same, and I'm going to take the same either way. It's only six. A prolonged fight against this guy is not what I'm looking for. <sighs> it looks like it's what I'm going to be getting. A piercing whale will do nothing. God, this is going to suck. We drew really improperly. I could toss up blocks. This would give me about eight defenses. I would reduce the amount I take. It's just... You know what? No, I'm going to blow the fire potion on this. Not blowing the fire potion will bring me a lot closer to death. Oh, I get another fire potion. Ooh, you offer me a backflip plus for card advantage. But I have no energy gain. And I'm really looking for just cycling rather than advantage, and that is not a great cycle. It's good defensively, but it's not good enough for what I'm looking for. Alright, here's where I'm going to upgrade something. I'm probably going to upgrade Storm of Steel. No. Maybe. Hmm. No, because Storm of Steel adds too much damage for what we're doing. And so avoiding it is just straight suicidal. Nothing. Uh, ooh, orange pellets. Whenever you play a power, attack, and skill in the same turn, remove all your debuffs. I mean, that's okay for generalist decks. Maybe. I'm just going to go with card removal. And what I'm going to remove here is just a stock standard strike. Another fire. So I'm going to smith. And what we're going to smith is we're going to smith acrobatics. No, we're going to smith prepared. Or we could smith neutralize, because that makes us a slightly more survivable in the long run. No, we'll smith terror, so terror isn't unplayable if our hand is full. Just because we're having energy problems. Well, we uh, have frozen eggs, so if we uh, ever get a power card, we can upgrade it. Now let me tell you, my friends, it's actually terrible for us right now. Ah, well, I'm hopefully drawing what I would like to draw here. God, this is going to be awful. Prepared. Nope. Um. Well, we can definitely sneaky strike. Why didn't I acrobatics first? There's a storm of steel. I do. I want a storm of steel because it's not going to do much. This is actually a boss that is. Very antithetical to Storm of Steel. We'll do that just so I don't die. Alright. Well, you deal exactly enough to get through my defenses, but you hurt yourself a lot, which is nice. Okay, you're getting the huge negative. Terror. Storm of Steel. Alright, now that you have your negative, each one's dealing a little bit more than nine, meaning we'll eventually get through your defenses and kill you. Caltrops ain't worth it. Heal Hook is a great cycling card. We just can't guarantee that they have weakness. I'm actually going to turn down Heal Hook here because we have one thing that does weak, and that's about it. We've surprisingly not gotten a button. No, uh, eh? An upgraded Jax card might actually be helpful. We do go to a shop after this, so I'm actually going to decline. Stabby Hook. Here's where Intangible would be amazing. Oh boy. 
I'll drink it. I just don't think it's going to be really worthwhile. I'm going to discard Strike so I'm not dying horrifically 90% of the time. I can technically toss up... Wait a minute. 15, I can block it exactly. So let's just go on the offensive. And this blocks it even harder. And we hold on to Skewer in case we get the vulnerable. Ooh, well, I mean... I don't want to say no to it, but I'm going to say no to it right now, as I desperately want to not die to this guy. So I'll take nothing this turn, draw a bunch of cards, maybe draw a little card draw somewhere, and then do Storm of Steel, because this might actually finish him off. Like I thought. We'll discard Strike. Sneaky Strike. It would deal 15, so it technically deals more damage than Storm of Steel would pull off. Prepared would not, so let us Storm of Steel now. Alright, the book has been... This page has been closed. Umamori. Gambler's Brew. Is wonderful, and I'll take a I'll take another prepared. Yes, please. Anything that boosts Tinkshas is good in my book. Oh. <sighs> Fine. Meal ticket. Whenever you enter a shop room, heal seven. I might just take another card removal at this rate. This would be the thing that would let me go infinite. But I'm just four mana short. Four money short. It just kind of slides wherever you go to. It's not too horrible unless you're just doing all this stuff. What do you want? Make up your mind. <laughs> hmm. Honestly, more card removal would probably be the best. Well Laid Plans is... Oh, I don't know why I was thinking of Well Laid Plans. It actually is useless, because we have the relic that just does Well Laid Plans for us. So yeah, we'll just straight up remove another card. Unless... Unless... What skills? No, if I just discard a bunch of shivs into my deck, it would deal a lot of damage. I mean, I guess we could technically... Burst... Oh, oh. Then play Acrobatics twice to refill my hand. That just seems really unnecessary, considering I'm not guaranteed to get more energy anyway. We'll discard another strike, or remove another strike. And go fight someone else. They're not attacking on the first turn? Well, they aren't attacking on the first turn. Alright, well, I mean, I guess I can't say no to this. We'll hold on to the defense. That is a lot of damage we were able to pull out on the Centurion on the very beginning, off the very get-go. We can successfully kill this Centurion if we get lucky. We did get lucky. Alright, good. She'll waste her turn healing. She'll gain no more defenses and no more power buffs. Maybe she will. Well, in that case, just discard Storm of Steel and just strike her down. Alrighty then. Concentrate. Hmm. We don't need the healing. Versus, who are we versing? Versing you. Concentrate makes it so it's just discard two cards. Please buy something or get me a new hand. Give me a concentrate. I'm interested because I might be able to pull something off with this. Alright, big man. 
Okay, Big Man is going to be immune to terror. So I'm just going to use it right now because there's no reason not to. Prepare to discard you. Sneaky strike, into a sneaky strike, into I could concentrate, but that would make me discard both my cards. We'll end our turn and hold on to it. This is going to make a bigger issue later, but I was just kind of hoping to do a humongous skewer turn. Wow, this is the first time I've seen you actually attack to begin with. Hmm. Well then. Ah. <sighs> My deck is too big as of right now to go infinite. I need to reduce it in size, but we actually do have the workings of an infinite combination. I would need to take a lot of cards out of it to make it work. But first things first, I'm going to concentrate. Discard you two because you're not that great. We will... What else do we have in our deck? Prepare to cycle. Toss out you, toss out you. Uh, we're going to acrobatics to fill up our hand again. Drop this. Piercing whale would do nothing. What happens here? Alright, that was just kind of a test. We'll hold on to Storm of Steel, and we'll just let the two bits of damage come forth. Oh, you take Concentrate. Yep, the Orbeez. The Orbeez are annoying. There's another Skewer. You're gonna try to steal something. I could Skewer... Discard and draw, and then maybe kill you so I can get Concentrate back. Maybe. No, I can guaranteed kill you. So I'll do so. Take Concentrate. Drop it on you two. Which would grant me Storm of Steel, but I'm not interested in that. I'm actually interested in just filling up my hand. With things, so I can keep doing some discard shenanigans. You shouldn't be able to hyperbeam because you still have your orbs ready. Yeah, you're not hyperbeaming. You've gotten stronger, but you aren't hyperbeaming. Drop this. Prepared. <sighs> okay. Don't need another neutralize. Sneaky. Sneaky. Acrobatics. Drop a defend. Storm of Steel would only cause me to get three cards. So tossing up two defends plus or prepare it probably is better. I think I'm becoming nonsensical as this is going on, but I mean, that's just how I end up after a while. Alright, they're buffing themselves. Concentrate, drop you two, gain five, and skewer you. Now, out of curiosity, will you hyperbeam? You will hyperbeam. Okay. That's important to know. So we have to go full defense. Full defense or die, basically. It's merely survivable right now. I did not realize that you hyperbeamed anyway. So far, the Storm of Steel has done nothing for me. You know what? We're doing it. Alright. Um, there's no more card draw here. Drink. 
We're gonna replace every single card in my hand. Uh, we're prepared. Gets dagger throwback. We're gonna sneaky strike, which refunds. Prepared again. To discard you two. Into another sneaky strike. Into another neutralize. Into a skewer. Oh god. Defend, defend, survivor. That would be that would give me what? 10, 18, which would block. I would survive. No, it's not saying much. It's just I survive. Barely. Discard a strike. I wish dumping concentrate here would actually have a purpose, but it doesn't. Okay, good, I still can count. He's gonna power himself up again in Hyperbeam. Before that happens, I'm gonna try to kill him. Oh, hello, Roke. Welcome back. Thank you for the generous donation. Deals 50. He defends himself. But I'm going to rely on Storm of Steel plus Acrobatics killing him. Okay, yeah, this should kill him. No matter what happens, this should successfully off him. No, I'm going to keep the neutralized because it will ultimately deal less damage than what we do normally. Drop the defend. Storm of Steel. Tinkshuz takes him down to near zero. We hit him with one shiv and he's dead. We are in fact not screwed. We have lived. And we gain a power that is actually worthwhile. Tools of the trade. Works well with Tinkshuz. Well... I would take the Busted Crown, but I'm going to take the Calling Bell and take only one curse. It's an injury card. Get the Juzu Bracelet, Matryoshka, Tough Bandages! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! We might be able to win this. We lost.